What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where this package is going to solve a mystery from 1998. Yeah, now I'm really excited to open up what's inside this package. I haven't opened this at all, but first let me explain to you guys what exactly is going on. Uh, on September 28th, 1998, the United States saw the release of Pokemon Red and Blue version and this wasn't the first time that the world was introduced to Pokemon. These games actually came out in Japan in February of 1996, except they didn't see the release of Pokemon Blue version, they saw the release of Pokemon Green version, right? But it wasn't Leaf Green version, obviously, this game didn't exist yet. So they saw a Pokemon Red and a Pokemon Green version, and it actually looked a little bit like this. Um, but the reality is that they didn't actually see Red version. They saw Pokemon Green version and another older version of Pokemon Red, which I don't have. These two games set the stage for Pokemon in Japan, and in October of that same year in 1996, Japan saw the release of a third Pokemon game, Pokemon Blue version. Now, this version of Pokemon Blue was only able to be obtained from a special mail in, uh, I guess, promotion from Koro Koro magazine and was later released to the general public for retail purchase in all the way in 1999. And what's different about this blue version from the Pokemon Red and Green version that came out initially was that they cleaned up some of the sprites and made them look a bit better. And then what they did was take that game and translate it and used it for the international release. So when they decided to bring Pokemon to America, they took Pokemon Blue version, which they already had completed, and they wanted to release a second version just like they did originally in Japan. So they decided, okay, well, we can release either green or red. And they actually decided to go with Pokemon Red version because they thought Charizard would actually perform better in the United States market. Now, look, as a kid, my first ever starter Pokemon was Bulbasaur, but I do have to say i think they were right with that one i think the red fire dragon is probably gonna sell a little bit better than the flower looking dinosaur now you guys might be thinking okay so they released a bunch of different pokemon games they were different across the world what about pokemon yellow well pokemon yellow came out september 12th my fourth birthday in 1998 um but we're gonna hold off on pokemon yellow for a minute because that's another refresh of the same game so where does that leave us where does that leave us that leaves us with the original pokemon red and green and then they redid the sprites and released pokemon blue in japan and then they released pokemon blue and red internationally with the updated graphics from the japanese version of pokemon blue so the question became what happened to pokemon green we never got a pokemon green version Red and Blue came out in the United States September 28th, 1998. Yellow followed October 1st, 1999. And we never saw that release of Pokemon Green version. Until, of course, Leaf Green. But that doesn't count. Now, back in 1998, 1999, when these games were exploding, they were a phenomenon around the world. Everybody was playing Pokemon. Everyone was talking about Pokemon. It was the biggest thing. There were rumors, right? This was before the internet was such a big thing. Uh, of course, the internet did exist, but hardly anybody had it at their house. And if they did, it was dial-up. It was super slow and there wasn't that much on it, especially in the form of video game knowledge. Um, some of the earliest uh, websites were like GameSpot, GameFAQs, things like that. Um, but with that being said, most kids just talked about Pokemon on the playground by word of mouth at the lunchroom table. And a lot of people were spreading rumors talking about Pokemon Green version and how Pokemon Green version exists. They know their friend of a friend has it and has legendary Pokemon and really cool things. But as we know now, that was never the case. Uh, until now. Until now. Inside this package is an actual English version of Pokemon Green. So let's open this up and see what's inside because again, I haven't opened this yet and I'm really interested to see what's in here. So let me take out my trusty knife and we're going to just uh, try to open this up as best we can on camera. I don't think there's a pull tab on here at all. So let's just go ahead and do it and um, let's see what's inside because I'm really excited again. <laughs> I have I played these games a million times over and as you can see I do actually have the Japanese version of Pokemon green um, but I really want to see what this English version is all about and I'll give you a little bit more of information about it 
in just a second so there's nothing else inside the bag completely empty there's not even a piece of paper explaining my order or purchase or anything like that um and this is the official unveiling of pokemon green so as you can see the artwork on the front of the case is actually a little bit different than what we saw for the pokemon green version in japan um very interesting the quality of the artwork is really nice and you can see it has that watercolor um, design similar to like the watercolor artwork of um, the red and blue version colors uh, red and red and blue version artwork um, and on the back um, we can see it's actually a little bit different than what you saw on the Pokemon red and blue version um, if we take a look with Pokemon Red over here, you can see there's a, a quite a bit different, especially in the artwork. Now, this is the actual official um, back artwork of Pokemon Red released in the United States. And this is the official artwork from the Japanese version. So it's completely unique, completely different from anything that we've seen. Um, and let me take a look inside. So there is something exciting in here uh we have a <laughs> an english version an english version of pokemon green version now there is a little bit of stuff in here um this bubble wrap obviously is to prevent it from popping out of the case and then we also have a business card to save more money on future purchases but we're gonna put that aside for now um and man this is really interesting let me read you the back of the case it says you've finally been granted your pokemon trainer license now it's time to head out to become the world's greatest pokemon trainer it's going to take all you've got to collect 150 pokemon in this enormous world catch and train monsters like the shockingly cute pikachu face off against blastoise's torrential water cannons stand strong when facing pidgeot's stormy gust trade with friends and watch your pokemon evolve important no single Pokemon can win it all. Can you develop the ultimate Pokemon strategy to defeat the eight gym leaders and become the greatest Pokemon master of all time? And then the captions on the pictures are gameplay on the Pokemon. I'm sorry. Gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Play in color on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter or the Game Boy Color. Both sold separately. Uh, and then it says collect up to 139 different Pokemon playing the Pokemon Green version. Using, using the game the game link cable sold separately, trade with a friend who has the red version to capture all 150. You only need to use both versions, red and green, and collect all the Pokemon. Set your training skills by battling, save your Pokemon collection, blah, blah, blah. Very, very cool. <clears throat> very cool. I'm going to show you one last look of the case on the back here, just so you guys can get a glimpse of what that looks like. And this is uh, what the actual... Oh, gosh. I don't want it to fall. The actual game looks like. So why don't we uh pop this out and oh man it's really in there oh god okay all right we got it don't worry it's safe it's it's safe we're good i'm gonna put this aside and this looks like an official uh nintendo cartridge however um i can tell by the plastic that it is definitely a different plastic um, and there's also if you look inside you can see up inside the cartridge now let me explain this is not an official game cartridge. Um, this is what the official Pokemon Red version cartridge looks like. It's a bit beat up because it's my original from when I was a child. Uh, you can't see up inside the case. Um, it's just uh, it's just plastic up in there. But for the Pokemon Green version, you can actually see inside. Um, so this game is actually a fan, uh, I guess, remake, you could say. Um, essentially, they took Pokemon Green version and they hacked the ROM so that it is in full English and then they put it onto a physical card that you can then put into a Game Boy and play. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's break out the Game Boy. Let's see what this game is all about. Let's see what it looks like. Now, uh, behind me, I do have my original. This is my original Pokemon. Uh, it's not the Pokemon Yellow Edition one. It's the yellow Game Boy Color and i got this for uh christmas the year pokemon yellow came out so that would be 1999. i've had this this game boy since 1999 i was five years old uh and i wanted to pop in the green version to solve the mystery with the original device it was created on 
However, um, you're not going to be able to see that screen very well. And uh, the speaker is kind of messed up. It just got corroded over the years. Um, so we're going to be using the Game Boy Advance SP. This is the backlit version, the AGS 101. So let's pop that in there and see if this actually works. Um, again, I haven't opened this yet. So we're just going to find out together. And now it works. It works. Okay. Um, I tested the Game Boy with my red version before this video started, so I knew that the Game Boy worked. That is max volume. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> wow. And there's even a Bulbasaur up front. Very cool. There's a save file. I'm not kidding, guys. I seriously, I ha I haven't opened this. Um, I guess we continue. Player a a a a a a a a a a. Playtime zero 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 zero. No badges. No Pokemon. Let's take a look. So I go to click on Pokemon, and nothing happens. He has no Pokemon. He has no items. Okay. Okay, I just spent a few minutes exploring. Uh, it looks like they just created a new profile just to make sure that the game save actually works. I was hoping to find some creepy Pokemon, uh, creepy pasta, something or other. You've seen the videos of people saying, oh my God, look at what I found on this lost save file I bought off eBay, whatever. That wasn't the case. They obviously just wanted to make sure that the game worked before they sent it to me. So let's create a new game and we're gonna take a look at that. So there's Professor Oak in all of his glory. And as you can see, it's full English. Full English for a game that never came out here in America or Europe or the US or North America or anything like that. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Oh, and you know what? That's actually the Nidorino artwork. I know that, um, you probably can't really see that very well because of the camera, but uh, yeah, that is the Nidorino artwork for Pokemon Green, the original, the original artwork. That artwork uh, was not present in Pokemon uh, Red and Blue that was originally released in North America and in Europe. So essentially, this game is what we would have gotten had they released Pokemon Green with the original artwork that it was that it had in Japan, just with English text and fonts and everything like that, um, and that's why I wanted to get this because that's so cool. I think that's so cool that finally, all these years later, the mystery is solved. There's officially there's okay sorry there's unofficially there's unofficially uh, a physical <clears throat> Pokemon Green English cartridge for the Game Boy that works on an official Game Boy. Super crazy. This is the closest we could ever get, right? Unless Nintendo decides to do some special, you know, 30, 40, 50 year anniversary release of a physical copy, then this is the best that we're ever going to get. I'm super excited. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to play this because like I said, I beat these games a million times. I beat it most recently on the... Um, on the 3DS when that was released virtually, I just had to beat it one more time. Um, that that playthrough, I used only a Charizard just to see if I could do it, and I did. It was cool. But um, yeah, super excited. Mystery solved, you guys. Mystery solved. Guys, I put a lot of work and money into this video to make all this possible. If you really, if you enjoyed the video, I would love to see you drop a thumbs up. Comment down below any questions that you have about this specific cartridge, about Pokemon in general. Um, I've been watching a lot of unboxing videos lately on YouTube of some older games and that's kind of what inspired me to make this video. If you guys want to see more unboxings of games like this, I would love to do them. Just let me know in the comment section below. As always, social media links and Discord are in the description. Follow me on all of those and subscribe with notifications on so that way you know the next time I upload a video. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.